Hey, I'm first. How am I first? What are you lot doing? John, you're muted. <laughs> you left your mic on and you didn't play the sound. So we thought you were going around again. Oh, fucking hell, did I? That didn't work <laughs> at all. Should I do it again? <laughs> Yeah, unless the theme tunes you sniff it. it was oh, okay. Let's do it again then, fucking hell. Okay. Right. See you, right. everybody. Pretend you didn't see us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right. When you watch it back, you'll see that oh, he won. <laughs> <laughs> you were muted for slightly too long. Oh, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna get, let me go to bed thinking I won. It's just what I need. Huh? You might have won. It's a photo finish. Um, oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ideal Home Show. Um, oh, turn your phone off. We've been through this in rehearsal. Oh, it's this bloody. That's the battery oh, charger. It's just it's decided to do beeping on me. Every week that charge, oh, you just want to I'm professional. So I'm professional. I'll start just to roll the intro again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did we have sat that time, though? Yeah, we did. We did. We did, we did. No, it's all right. It's all right. Welcome to the Adi Loam Show. What number is it? 103. 103. Uh, on tonight's show, we'll be talking about John's double jointed elbow. It's quite weird, isn't it? That's quite weird. You'd have been a really good spin bowler. <laughs> if you <laughs> tried. Oh. Um, yeah, good. So that's that. That's what's happening tonight. Hundred and the third episode. Um, we're going to be talking mainly about Squonkin. We'll also talk about Expo. This competition to win stuff. Um, we, we're going to talk about some stuff later on as well. Uh, as I say, we're talking about Expo. Uh, okay. If you want to know what Rick had for breakfast, stay tuned. And there'll be loads of stuff coming up. You, you won't believe you some of the stuff that comes up. It's quite amazing how much stuff we gather, the information we gather together to get on one of these shows, isn't it? Yeah. Now we stuff... managed to squeeze it all into under two hours. I just don't know how we managed to do it. It's, it's, de- it's probably going to roll into three hours tonight. Easily, with the amount of stuff, the pure Easy. volume of stuff we've got. Um, We've got some more uh, John, the Science Guy stuff later on. That's fine. John guy, guy, John guy, the science guy. Haven't got an enemy meter yet. Got some science, have we? No, we'll do yeah. science next week. Guaranteed science at exactly <laughs> 10 o'clock. John's, gonna, John's got some new stuff on string theory. Okay, okay. I could do that. Yeah, that's quite good. Um, yeah, so all that stuff and more. But first, let's do, let's do the first section that we always do. What do we call Ooh. this section? Hand checks. Hand checks. It's really complicated. Uh, Rick, me. Um, what did you have for breakfast? Um, what are you vaping on? How's your week been? And where do you stand on corn? All right, in that order. Where do I stand on corn? Corn. Okay. I think it's shit. That's it. <laughs> Well, do you know why? I mean, I mean, I've, I've, you don't I've, like the taste. No, it's not about the taste. It's not about any of that. But I, you know, I've got I've got vegetarians in the family, and Annie was a vegetarian. And I think if you're going to be vegetarian, you shouldn't be eating things that l- look, look like, like meat. meat. No, you might as well meat. eat meat if you're going to eat something that looks like meat. Corn well, fake bacon. That makes no sense. Yeah, no. fake bacon. I don't get it. What's the point? That fake bacon? bacon's pretty poor, man. I mean, it's awful. I've had it, I've, you know. Muck, I'm not eating that. But um, corn, Hang I on, suppose that, it's not a lot of tofu, but you should have tofu if you're vegetarian, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. but your, your whole argument doesn't work. Why? What? Why does it look like meat? Well, you're vaping something that looks like a cigarette. Should just smell. Yeah, but I'm not anti cigarettes. No, I'm not smoking. No one died for corn, did they? 
No one like, died for no one the, died for lost Linda's a leg. Beach. Was that Linda? No, lose a leg. No, that was uh, uh, that was Linda, Linda wasn't it? Linda. No, not well, Linda. No, uh, that was uh, Heather. 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 Are they, are they sisters? Are they sisters? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I get confused. Which one was Paul McCartney? Definitely sister. Which one was Paul McCartney's wife? I can't both. remember now. Both. Both. Oh, okay. that's why I'm getting mixed up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, one lost the leg and one didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, corn. Yeah. So <laughs> no, use if you're going to make a chicken curry, put chicken in it. Uh, right. Uh, what do I have for breakfast? <laughs> My breakfast is pretty much quite standard. Sausage, bacon, and egg. Quan sausage. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the McCartney sausage is what it was. No, we actually had a different sausage today. Annie's trying to be a little bit more healthy with our breakfast, and it was a, it was a chicken sausage, and it was crap. They eat them in uh, Asia. I, fuck it, I never eat. Nah, I covered it in salt and it was a bit better. But <laughs> sort of, that's the health thing, sort of thing. <laughs> I nearly <laughs> choked to death then. <laughs> uh, what else did you say, Richard? Uh, how's my week been? Week's been week. Right. Week's been good and good and bad. It's been busy, really busy. Um, but we run out of five tens, so it sort of upsets me when I run out of stock. And uh, I'm letting all the modders down because they haven't got any MM five tens, and it's. Well, you haven't let them down. They've already bought them all. Well, they ain't, they want them and they haven't got them. So, but but on the plus side, we bought out that new five ten tightening kit, and that's been flying out, and everyone loves it. So it's brilliant. Um, and lots of good new stuff coming next week as well, including five tens. Hopefully, with a strong wind behind the sails of the Chinese boat that's coming over. Ooh. Um, what am I vaping on? All right, okay. I've got a few different things to talk about this week because I've been I've got a reasonable haul at Expo and just after. So right, let's start. First up, thank you ever so much to Mark Johnson from Screen Mods. He sent me a series squonker. He was up at Expo and he uh, he sent me one of these and it's blooming brilliant. Love it. Really good. Very nice, <laughs> very nice. Bit of a challenge. Well, it's not a challenge. Challenge if you're used to sing building for a single battery, but you've got to obviously up your resistance. I think I've got about a 0.6 in this. Um, really well made thing. It comes apart with a nice big magnet. Oh, yeah. Comes apart like that. Got a massive magnet there to hold it in. And lots to get up. Like that. And yeah, it's wicked. Beautiful, really good job. Good job, Mark. Thanks ever so much for that. Um, I've got, finally got, I don't know, Craig gave me a Wasp Nano up at Expo. Oh. You know what? I have one of those. Can't Is grumble. Really can't grumble about the, about it. You know, this little <laughs> 10 quid thing. For the price, it's great. It's a bit loud, but it's nice. Yeah, it's quite hard to get the, you've got to have the airflow right to stop it making a noise, but... Um, you know, it fl it vapes as well as any of uh, the other little guys. I mean, it, I don't know. It's a great deal of difference in flavour between that and, say, the um, the uh, what is this? The Haku. Haku. Yeah. So thanks so much for that, Craig. And what am I vaping in that? I'm vaping in that lemon crack version two from Mark White. He sent me a bottle of concentrate, and I mix that up, and it's great. I love it. Really like it. Really nice concentrate. Um, and Mark summed it up perfectly. He told me what the flavour profile was, and he just said, it's like when you buy it into a, a locket. A locket? Oh, that's good. And it really, really is. You get honey. You don't really get so much lemon, but you get a sort of honey menthol going on. Uh, and it's just exactly like vaping, like biting into a locket. So that's interesting. That's uh, that's good. I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting through that. Uh, what else? Okay, big thanks to... George from from Cyprus, he's a lovely bloke. George, he makes own my, he's owned my box. He makes those. Um, well, I'll show you. He made that. He makes these mods. Yeah, he mm -hmm. gave you a little. He gave you a little mod at Jam, didn't he? So. Yeah, he gave me a box. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But his friend was coming over, and he gave him uh, the box he gave to me before. It was it was double oh seven the number on it. Um, and he got he's making a few of these now, and he got to number. 
the 07 this time, got to number seven, and he gave it to his mate to bring over. So his mate was over at Jam uh, uh, Expo, and he came and gave it to me. So thanks ever so much for that. That's really, really nice. I'm using it, and I've got the Haku on top. And in that, I'm vaping on my Cafe Castro, oh, which is a coffee cigar that I'm enjoying. Right, what else am I on? Okay. Yeah, another thank you to... Mark Dolan, he gave me a bot. He gave me two bottles of juice. This one I'm having this week. He gave me Blue Raz, very nice it's from Vapesk, and uh, he gave me a Kina, a Kina Thick Oil. It's not oil though. I mean, I tried it on my bike, and it it didn't. It just got sticky. It didn't lubricate the joints at all. But it vapes. It vapes nicely. Um, this Blue Raz, it's like a, it's a blueberry. It's a uh, blue raspberry sort of slush slushy thing but it's less i find them a bit too overpowering sometimes and this is a little bit less flavorsome so it's perfect for me it's still got bags of flavor it's a good all day of, of, of blueberry blue raspberry um and i'm vaping out in the goon on my brit pop mech um that's about it apart from the usual scott bonner block there with a goon on top and voodoo brew in it and that's me very scott. nice Richard. Richard, okay. What was the last flavour milkshake you had? Oh, have I asked that before? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm running out of questions. Okay. What did you have for lunch? How's your week been? How is the new car? And what's the last film you and the missus sat down and watched on the tv together okay um last film we watched together was uh, now you see me uh, oh was that oh that's the that's magician the magician thing. one isn't it yeah yeah i don't mind that there's a bit of a kind of time waster one it's quite yeah good. well that's what you i know, like you just sit down and just, just, just completely shut down i don't even listen yeah. to what they're saying no you don't need to it's fine <laughs> Yeah, Morgan Freeman, Woody Harrelson. They've done a sequel as well. I need to check that out. No, you see me. Yeah, I've seen it. No, no, you see me too. Or something. It's not I thought that was that. a Paul Daniels tribute film thing or something. S similar. Uh, to that, it, that, yeah. that, that's just called McGee. Any holes a goal. That's what it's called. Right? <laughs> oh, that's a bit harsh. She's on. I the don't know why. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> She's on the Strictly Come Dancing at the moment, isn't she? I have to. I, I get stuck. I don't watch it. I'll come in the garage, but the kids and the wife watch it. Mm. And she's been on there, the old McGee. Yeah, she's very know. flexible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, well, she's used to it, isn't she? In a box, any box. Um, yep, so that was the film. Uh, car's all right. Um, I mainly got it because it's child-friendly and also because it's kitted out with tech. I'm not a tape deck, isn't it? Oh, no, it hasn't got a tape deck. No tape deck. It's got oh, everything, no tape. But, everything but a tape deck. But you have to compromise, don't you, if you want the... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All marriage and stuff in it. Well, I suppose it's... I mean, it's got a USB port, so I could get a USB-powered tape deck and just Why not? put it on the passenger seat. Yeah, I'm not going to send you that mixtape I've done for you if you haven't got a deck to play it on. I, I haven't, you know. Um, Yeah, so it's got, you know, it's got all Bluetooth and all that. I like all that. Sat nav, the works. Um, um, so the car's fine, uh, it's just another dad mobile. Um, but yeah, A to B. Um, what was the other stuff? Oh, oh what are you vaping on? Oh, what you have for what you have for what was it? Lunch, lunch, the lunch. I had a prawn baguette, a prawn baguette. This is moving well away from the rice. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I was expecting some sort of rice derivative. Or at least, at least I had scampi the other night as a tribute to you. I couldn't get it out of my head since you got the giggles <laughs> over scampi. Um, uh, so me and my wife went, had a date night on Friday night, <clears throat> Tuesday night, sorry. And I had scampi, and it was shit. <laughs> it was yeah, really which awful. Is, it is what it is, isn't it? It's not. And then I did that thing. Do you ever? <laughs> I think it. Uh, I think it's a blokey thing. My wife didn't finish her dinner. She had lasagna, so we swapped plates at the end so it's like it was like surf and turf you know <laughs> so <laughs> I, I i had the scampi and then i had her lasagna and i had right i kind of went 
she just got to the end of my mail and I said, oh, have you finished? And she said, yeah, do you want to swap? And I said, yeah, yeah, and we swapped over. And I took one bite and went, oh, that's horrible. And she said, yeah, it was fucking horrible. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Uh, yeah, so yeah, like prawn mayo, baguette type thing. Uh, and a packet of, um, it was a grab bag, salt and vinegar walkers. Have you tried them? Don't eat crisps. Is that a new flavour then, that one? I don't know. I don't know. It's weird because the bag's green and everybody knows the universal colour for salt and vinegar is blue. It is blue. It is blue. Yeah. It's the law. Yeah, because green's cheese and onion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's ask about red. it. You can't beat it. You know, I can't believe that they were talking about... You know, it was all a big publicity stunt. They'll never drop salt and vinegar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they can't ever. It's the best Walkers. Well, I don't know. I quite like a cheese and onion from Walkers, to be honest. I mean, I won't lose any sleep if they do drop it. I would. I would be upset deeply. My, uh, I don't eat crisps. I don't care. My, my brother used to be a joiner. And uh, every day he took a packed lunch. And every day in the packed lunch was a packet of sea. Do you have Seabrook crisps down south? Yeah. And they changed the bag from 26 grams to 22 and a half grams. And <laughs> he wrote a strongly worded letter. <laughs> Did they uh, send him four grams of crisps? They sent him two boxes, huge, like, grocery shop boxes of They're seaweed. good like that. If you, they'll do that anybody. If you buy a chocolate bar or anything and moan about it, they'll send you a load of stuff. He didn't it's... solve his problem, though. No. Well, he could, because he should have divided them into four grams and just taken those four grams with him to work every day and added them to the bag. Yeah. He could have, have, full, he just, could have three, just had a just bag, three and bags. bag each day <laughs> to get his quota, you know. Uh, the, well, these, this crisp side today were a grab bag. That's the new minimum for me. But that is that is what a bag <laughs> used to be. I don't no, know it's not. They're fucking massive. They're grab never bags. massive. No, no, no. They're, they're not that massive. They're, they're about the size, aren't they? No, they're 50 grams, aren't they? The standard oh, used they? to be 30. Oh, okay. But I don't get I do think, 30 uh, now. <laughs> I do think, when I'm sitting in the... You know you always judge the person in the supermarket queue in front of you? You know, when you're like, wait, to put your crap on the counter. I, always judge I, don't, I don't judge them, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I do. I do. I'm, like, I, I'm like... I'm like Diamond White. Are you drinking that behind a skip? And then, and then I'm like five variety bags of crisps and like eight bottles of Diet Coke. You know, fucking hell! No wonder you're a fucking fatty and it goes through the thing. Yeah. I, I get Diamond, I get Diamond White from the supermarket, but I put it in that um, bin. You know the <laughs> <laughs> the one for the one for disadvantaged families. Yeah, is that bad? <laughs> no, it's fine. That's quite a good brand, isn't it? Diamond White. There's worse ones out there. Worse, worse uh, brands of shit of champagne. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard champagne. There was a guy in front of me in Lidl buying super strength cider, and I was. <laughs> I'm not, no, this is not a judgment. It was just one of those. It's just one of those things that amused me. I was in there to get my lunch. I sometimes get a cheese twist from Lidl. They're quite good. And um, the guy in front of me bought two. Two litre bottles of it was called something like super strength cider, and it was. I saw the side of the bottle, and it's 12 or 13 percent. It was like a quid 50. <laughs> <laughs> you get fucking ended on that. And but then the guy by the counter said, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, three pound. And he brought out a carrier bag, and the whole end of it was full of coppers. And he went, Cheers, mate, <laughs> and splashed it on the counter. That's standard for little. Oh fuck! I only want a cheese twist. You cunt. I quite like. Do you know? I quite like some of the things in Lidl. They have some all right European stuff in there. It's so German st though, isn't it? You can give all your money to Germany. I, I don't mind the bakery bits. I don't, donuts, all right. Twenty p. Oh, I don't mind. Twenty p for a donut. Up human scum. Should, should be the going rate. This should be the going rate for a donut. Twenty p. They're all right these days. The Germans. They're all right. Our chip shop. Yeah, but that was a long time ago, wasn't it? Well. Well, really you, you can forget if you want. They've changed their ways, I'm sure. <laughs> but to be honest, by the time the bomb has got to Bradford, they just looked down and thought, ah, they're not probably going to notice a bomb. <laughs> they didn't know where they were chucking those things. Willy nearly threw them over here, weren't they? It did £5.70 worth of damage. I don't know. Bradford. It took them ages to rebuild that chip shop. Um, 
Uh, so that's what I had for lunch. Um, oh, vaping on. Vaping on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vaping on the Bonza RDA off of Bogan, the vaping. Nice. This is his Ooh. RDA that he designed with Vandy Vape. Um, it's... What is it with all these people designing things with Vandy Vape? Well, easy money. Not me. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't I don't. I mean, it makes if if it makes money, it makes sense, doesn't it? Um, <sighs> plus, at the main advantage. Oh, I don't know if I should say this, but the main advantage to designing an atomizer with someone like Vandy Vape is every other vape reviewer in the world has to give you a shout out on every review. <laughs> So you, I suppose, if, you if don't you, have to lay never, money out to you for it either. That's the if thing. They never send you a, if they never send you a penny when it's all done and dusted, at least you've had a shout out from every vape reviewer on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so yes, so the Bonza is the Bonza RD8. Um, I'm I'm really impressed. the The build deck is really smart. Um, obviously you're not going to be able to see, but what they've what they've done is they've put clamps on the inside at the bottom and holes at the top on the outside and the advantage of that is that when you wick it you don't have to put your you, d you don't have that awkward bit at the end of your wicking where you have to get the wick over the top of the lead mm. uh, you just yeah. stick it straight down and it the the ridiculous coils that you can fit in here is uh good fun good fun it's also got the um it, it, it squonks as well comes with a squonk pin um it's got these tiny little holes, and we were talking about this just before we went on. Uh, I don't know, I don't know the science at all, but it does seem to make for a smoother airflow, having loads of little holes rather than one big one. Um, so yeah, so I'm really enjoying the Bonza. I'm going to review that at some point. I'm not going to rush a review up though, because that's a bit tacky. Um, <laughs> um, uh, and I've also got, also from Vandy Vape, the Kenzie RTA. This has got the uh, Cleto esque. Uh, I was going to say, it looks like a Cleto to me. Yeah, it's got the, what What do we call these widened tanks? Like fishbowl crack, tank. Crack pipe. Crack pipe. Are they called bulb? I don't know, yeah. It does, it's so Cleto esque, but it's it's rebuildable, isn't it? It's an RTA, it's a pure RTA, it's not sub tank at all. Um, yeah, but so it's a Cleto, that's how I was using mine. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. Um, I'm not, other than it having the big glass tank, I'm not seeing a lot of innovation in this RTA, I've got to say. Um, Some people are going with, a lot of people are going with bubble tank. <coughs> bubble tank, cool. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, and that's all right. I've got goose juice in there. Back on, I've got, I made, I was having a sulk and I made this while sulking. <coughs> Huge 250 ml of goose juice, so I'm back on it. Sure. Um, and then lastly, I have the Vulcan. Oh, yes, Ooh. the beautiful Stuart from VT UK. Uh, he made he made this mechanical mod. Made uh, a thing. <laughs> well, all right, designed it, co designed it, whatever. Vulcan Bros is the maker of the mech and RDA. Um, Quite a thing. I got the big brass one. You got the stainless steel, Rick. Is that oh, right? Stainless one here. Yeah. Uh, it fits um, 18650s really well, and 2700s not so well. Um, but I'm so I'm using it in 18650. I much prefer it in 18650. Um, yeah, it's I nice. did as well, it's just because right. of the. I didn't. Th I didn't find 2700s hit as well. Yeah. If you're allowed to say that these days, but you know it, it's true. They don't perform as well. Apparently, well, apparently it's some really good 2700s, but you can't get them. <laughs> so you're stuck with the eye joys of this world. Um, so yeah, so RDA, a cool little RDA. It's um, The deck is very skill-like. It's two huge screw holes, and you just put whatever you like in there. No bother with that. Um, I'm, en I'm enjoying it. I don't have many good mechs. Um, so it's it's you know it's nice to have a go on a mech. I'm quite quite enjoying it. Which nice. cap did you get on yours, Richard? Did you get oh, both? Or? Yeah, the flavour one's too restricted. Yeah, I, I said I didn't want the flavour one. I just I went for the what they call the cloud one. Yeah. Um, the cloud one should probably be the flavour one. I think so too. Yeah, I did. I sort of 
I've voiced I voiced my opinion on that. I think he said they might release a competition one or comp one or something yeah, like that's that. Yeah, that's what that's what Stuart said. They might bring one out that's got more more airflow. But basically, yeah, basically just one with a bit more airflow, and that's that's the beauty of doing it like that. You can you can add more caps. I've also got in it the extra magnet. I think that really helps because when it comes as it comes with one magnet, it is a lot of play on the button. And like two it, magnets it comes with two. Yeah, it comes well. It comes with two, and you put a third one in. Yeah, I've got a third in mine as well. Now. Yeah, uh, before you put that third one in, there's a lot of wobble on the button, and when you sit it down, it, you can almost sort of see it oscillating on the desk whereas it's much sturdier with the with the uh, extra magnet um so i'm i'm quite enjoying it it's it's very pretty for sure um the i think the rda is a really nice idea i've always liked that skill deck design um so yeah so i'm vaping on that as well uh thank you to stuart from Vulcan yep, bros thanks, and Steve. Risa thanks, as well Vulcan bros Vulcan Bros. I don't know. I haven't talked to him. I'm, I'm going to be talking to him about this uh, before I say more on it. But also, um, I don't know where you get it from or anything. Um, I, what I will say, though, um, that this you can take this to the bank. I love this custard of theirs. I, I bought a couple of extra bottles at Expo. I really oh. like it. And I never buy juice these days. You must like it if you bought it. Blimey. I know. I don't buy shit. So that's, that's um, a seal of approval. Uh, so that's that's me, uh, John. All right. When was the last time you yawned on a live vaping show? <laughs> I didn't yawn. <laughs> that a stretch. Yeah. Um. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right. Um. What did you have for breakfast? What did you have for lunch? How's the new car? Um. How's your week been? And what is your favourite Bruce Willis film? And what are you vaping on? Uh, I can't drive, so I haven't got a new car because uh, no one will let me drive it. Um, oh. <clears throat> what I have for breakfast? I had toast and uh, Tesco's finest raspberry jam. Not very exciting. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get in the gills over lunch now. <laughs> I don't actually care if you judge me because... Can't be much lower than a cheese twirl from Lidl. But it's worse than that. It's really it's worse than that. Um, oh, I'm really trying not to get the giggles now. Um, we were really busy today at work, and I was waiting for a shipment of nicotine, which turned up. And um, so all the kits were made up with no nicotine in. And, and so when they turned up, uh, grabbed all the shipping sheets, the threw everything, it sealed everything up phew, straight in the post, and then uh, and it was two o'clock, and I hadn't eaten any lunch, and I hadn't really got the energy to go and get any lunch. So for lunch, I had <laughs> this is beet scampi in Pizza Hut by a, a mile. Tonight, today, I had. A marzipan Ritter Sport Bar. <laughs> That's a different bar. <laughs> and, a, and a handful of marshmallows. That's what I had <laughs> No wonder you look like a crackhead. <laughs> that was my actual lunch. That's really funny. That's what I actually had. You could have done with a glass of diamond white to wash that down. I really could have. Guys, really bad. Um, I really did do that. Um... Um, uh, so what, favorite... What's your favourite Bruce Willis film? Oh, that's quite a tough one, actually. Um... He's only done two good ones. That's an easy. That's an easy question. Come well, on. no, because you go with you automatically go with Die Hard, right? No, 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 no. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd automatically oh. go with Pulp Fiction oh. instantly. Oh, but that doesn't count because it does count. But he's hardly in it. And he isn't the best person in that by a mile. He's not the best person. But he's still in it. He is, but it's I don't it would think count. It would count legally. No, I don't know. Twelve monkeys. Counts. Twelve monkeys is quite good. I twelve monkeys was up there. I think oh, I know. I know. Looper. Sixth sense. No, that's no good. Looper's no. ace. Looper's ace. Looper's all right. Uh I am actually gonna go I am gonna go with a diehard, but I am gonna go with a lesser diehard, 
uh, because I remember watching it. At, I remember I watched this alone at the cinema because uh, I was staying with my mum after I'd been to Bible camp. Well, that happened. Um, and so I went to go and see Die Hard with a Vengeance. And I'm going to go with Die Hard with a Vengeance. Is that the third one? Third one, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. John Woo, isn't it? Who's, um, the bad, who's the baddie? He's good. Uh, uh, fuck, I don't want chat to get me. Fuck. Um, shit. He, hate, he, hate, he hates the gays. I know that, but I can't. Jeremy Irons. Jeremy Fucking Irons. beat chat. Fuck you, chat. Yeah, Jeremy Irons. <laughs> not not fat for the gays, but uh, there's all right actor. <laughs> right. What am I vaping on? That's not that's not anything. That's not the, uh, that's against Jeremy Irons. <laughs> I didn't offend anybody. Is He's he a pretty iron? offensive person. Is he an iron? Jeremy Irons. Fake- he might as well call him whatever he like. Jeremy Irons, when they legalised gay marriage, he said, "Well, um, well, 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 well uh, uh, I'm, I'm just saying, uh, can I marry my son then?" <laughs> no, Jeremy. No, you can't. <laughs> you very weird, weird man. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm vaping on something. I have, I have been vaping on this for a while on the show, but I am vaping on the Aspire Breeze. With, but in it is forty-five milligram cactus punch. That's a, that's a bit of a funny name. It can't. Has it got lots of airflow? No. Yeah, it has. Well, it has. Yeah. But I bunged it up with a piece of it inside. Oh, that's why it's a yeah. breeze because it has actually got some airflow. Then okay. Yeah, yeah. They're bringing out a higher resistance coil for it. I think point five. I think the one that's in it at the moment. So this is it without that. I've just pulled the little bung out that I always put in it. Let me just try it. So without without the bung, Rick. You're so high end, John. That's the problem with this show. That it's too is. high it's end. Got a bit of oomph to it, isn't it? It's got a little bit of grunt to it. That little thing. Yeah. Has it got more grunt than Richard's fish? Ooh, the fish. dolphin. The dolphin. If there's time later, I'll talk about the dolphin. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. A little um, smaller. Like, I, I put a. I, yeah, I put a little um, a carp insulator in there and use that. Uh, what else have I got? I have got um, the Vulcan RDA. Uh, what's it called again? The Vulcan Alpha. Uh, I got the RDA, but I didn't, I didn't get the mod. Stuart, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I, I wouldn't appreciate it because I'm not really a mech tube user. <clears throat> so I've got that on the RX 200, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to do. I can't even show the bottle. It, it, it's a new supplier for um, just add Nick. Um, so the bottle looks like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a really even if I show the bottle, people don't know. I've, put, I've removed the label before the show, but the bottle's quite a giveaway. Um, so uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, is, it an obese, that, is it an obese monkey bottle? Yeah, yeah, but the, yeah, it's, yeah, should have said, yeah. Um, well, that's not going to be the our bottle, but whatever. Uh, so I've got that a point two at 90 watts. Yeah. Sorry. Quite like that. It's a very, um, you'll find out later, flavour. Uh, oh, what else have I got? I've got that one in my phobic. Thank you so much for changing the name, Bradley. Change the name to phobic mods. So I've got a phobic mod with our door on it. And I'm actually, saying that, um, Bradley's going to be doing some idea loan show doors for maybe mods. maybe uh, <laughs> so watch out watch out for them if bradley does them uh, save your pennies better word with them at expo uh we're, we're quite limited happy run to, limited, if, run. Yeah, limited run if he if he wants to if he wants to do them he is the only man with express permission oh bollocks you can't even see it shit, yeah we could shit, see shit. it then we could see it perfectly oh, could you? okay yeah 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 the ideal home show doors um i'm gonna be Hopefully a limited one of those. Uh, out. What is it? Oh, so in on in on on that, I have got the what tank is on the top of that? Fuck it. Now I can't. Oh, the flave tank. 
Uh, Alliance Tech. Is that Alliance Tech? Uh, yeah, it could be. <sighs> Fucking hell. I have to keep checking the bottom of RDAs. And RDAs yeah, and I think it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's say it is. Yeah, it is Alliance Tech, yeah. Um, and that's got that one in it. Which right. one? Yeah. It's... Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but that one really sings on single coil, not dual. And it being 12 milligram, I don't really want to do it at like 0.1. So it's 0.3, 0.2, 20. I like that. Uh, billet box for the next set with uh, Brasby Mint in it. And... <clears throat> A Dacus uh, mod, Ooh, Dacus files. On top of that is a Vapor Giant Nano. That's. Do you know what? That's a Nano, right? Look at Look, that. This is a Nano, nano too. That's yeah. a Nano. About the same size, to be honest. About the same. Size. Are they? Yeah, very, very similar. We're actually going to be giving away a Nano uh, a little bit later. I'll do it later. Uh, <clears throat> And it's only for people in chat right now. Um, so what I'll do in a little while, I'm going to play about five seconds of a song. Oh, we tried it in the rehearsal, in the in the warm-up. It didn't work, but I'm not, I'm not put off by that. Someone's going to get it. No, we didn't know it. <laughs> it, didn't, it worked. We just didn't know it. Oh, that's all right. Then. So, uh, yeah, it's a song from a film, and you've got to guess the film and uh, type it in chat. And if you guess it, you win a Vapor Joint Nano. It was, and... uh, it was Babe Pig in the City, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and and some vinyls from uh, Mr. John Freight. Uh, that's me done. Are we into news now? Should I go straight into news? Should we do Expo and then news? Yeah, happy, happy, happy. Oh, news and then Expo? News and then Expo. Come on, let's call it a sheet. Come on, we've got a sheet there. Is that okay, a little bit. There John's got a bit. I've got a bit. John's the last one on, isn't he? So I'll do a bit quickly. No. Oh, no? Yeah. I was here. I was just following the run sheet. <laughs> well, it's sort of, my, my one's sort of... Ex yeah, but you've just done your thing, haven't you? That one. Oh, go for it. Go for your news. Go for your news. I haven't really got news as such, but it's just a disappointment that I... You think we'd come a bit further in this industry, wouldn't you, with the kiddie targeting branding and stuff? Um, but I saw this stall up at Expo. I think other people have talked about it. I took pictures of it at the time because I think, fucking hell, what are you doing? So, what do you think of this? Oh, let's have a look. Hold on. Got it juicy here. fiction. Definitely Ooh, a juicy fiction. Fuck it. I mean, look, it's a fucking advent calendar. Calendar, Clearly based on Cadbury's and called Cloudbury's. That is a better picture. Close up. There you oh, go. That's bad. I didn't see that. That's actually even there's a curly whirly and a fudge bar and a Snickers. Oh, I've Christ. never ever seen anything so ripped off as this. And Excuse so, my French. That is fucking ridiculous. That is. It's, is there anything ever been as bad as that? That that's the worst. Thing how they got away with it? They're gonna definitely gonna. They have haven't. Been, they haven't got the thing is because this has come up a few times over the week. You know, people saying how did they get away with it? The point is they haven't got what they're trying to do, right? They'll sell as much shit as possible before they get a cease and desist. And a cease and desist is likely to cost them somewhere between, anywhere between 600 and 2,000 pounds. And they've got to take that into account and they've got to destroy the stock when they get the cease and desist. And that's it. If they make the money... They, well, no, the they haven't actually got the flavours of juice being the brands, though. It's just... It a that that font's covered and everything and everything. Yeah, but, but look at the four. Look at the three bottles of juice that are on there. None of them have got anything to do with Cadbury's. No, it's stupid. Snickers ain't Cadbury's, is it? No, no. So it's not. factually inaccurate as well, which is even more annoying. Yeah. So yeah, I just saw this and I thought, what the hell? You know, I mean, I'm... in this day and age, if anybody was buying that, they got to be fucking mad. I tell you what, that could so easily have been on the one show as well. I'm surprised it wasn't the the focus of it. To be honest, that's worse than having a bottle of you know a tango flavored juice, isn't it? I mean, yeah. an advent Who, calendar. Kids all have them, you know. Or this is fucking. It's, whoever whoever's done that want bloody shooting. Apache Vape Limited. Whoever they are, Apache Vape Limited. 
But you wankers. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that's as, that's as bad as I've ever seen it. So I just want to say, Apache, you're a bang out of order. Fuck off. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. And hopefully, hopefully Expo won't allow you to come back next year because that's fucking stupid. And that's I bet, it. And I bet that's all they all smirk. Yeah, they probably do all smirk. And there was uh, when we were waiting, me and uh, 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 me and uh, what about Mr. Dacus? We shared a bed uh, Friday night, room, room, and um, we were talking to these lads before uh, waiting for a cab outside. And they told us that, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're like in there, like pop up to one, pop up to our store and that. Yeah, because it's like, we've got some wicked flavors, all smoking. <laughs> all smoking bags. Yeah, I'm all right. I'll tell you what, I'll, t- I'll, I'll just quickly tell you this. At the last expo in May, I was summoned over to the dinner ladies' stand <clears throat> where a smoker proceeded to tell me for 10 minutes how amazing the juice was. <laughs> Uh, just absolutely oh, skin crawling. Oh, they are, smoking. Smoking. They are such they a tedious company. They can't taste company. anything anyway because they're smokers. They, they are it's such a tedious company, dinner ladies. I wish they'd crawl under a rock and die. <laughs> they're very popular though, aren't they? They're dishing out those bags at Expo, aren't you'd they? You'd think you'd think they were, but it's all just money. Yeah, mm, I don't take anything. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> That's That's really really all the juice is nasty except that yellow one. That's not very good either. Probably designed by smoke. <laughs> right, I'll go into my news <laughs> to avoid this. We're going to keep ducking in and out of it. Expect- See you in court, dinner ladies. Yeah, fuck them. Uh, what have I got? What the fuck is this? So, sorry, a picture of Donald Trump just jumped up on my uh, thing, <clears throat> on my screen. <clears throat> I, this was on Reddit this week from the Econo Times. <laughs> this is just another. This is, I, I don't really know. I added this, but I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Scientists weigh in. Secondhand vapor is not harmful. Although vaping has been around since 2004, the real up, the real uptick in vapors only happened several years ago when the industry ironed out the kinks and presented casual users with a wide variety of easy to use vaping devices. Since then, the vaping community has been under constant attacks from vaping opponents, most of which are able to secure serious coverage by the mainstream media. One of the more debated issues is supposed to, the supposed danger of secondhand vaping. Blah, 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 blah. This is about the 50th time this has existed. Uh, yeah, it's not harmful. It's a fuck sight worse to walk down a road with cars driving past you. Or stand in front of a barbecue for 20 minutes. You were not even close. They, yep. uh, they, there's literally just been a study on the condition of city air, hasn't there? Yes, yeah, pretty devastating. Has there? Yeah, it's something like 58 out of 62 cities tested. We're nowhere near the like limits and regulations and... Well, you jam a load of cars into a, an a area, they're going to chuck out crap, aren't they, you know? Yeah, it just seems we get one of these studies every so often, and I, th- I think they do all right, but uh, yeah, I don't know what the... That's no information. We, we know it's not. There's nothing in it. What are you expecting? Whatever. Uh, um, just had Nick news. Uh, while I was at Vape Expo, I went with the sole intention of um, signing... A supply, which I did in the first 20 minutes being at Expo because we'd already talked, and uh, I did, and it's coming soon. I'm hoping it's going to ship next week, which uh, means I'll start doing teasers. Is so, that dinner lady? You've got dinner lady juice coming. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> um, and uh, oh yeah, uh, it'll probably be released uh, the week after. And I've got uh, an, uh, an added bonus. I'm standing talking around, and a very, very lovely UK um, juice manufacturer uh, who I spoke who who I spoke to uh, in 2016 and came back to me and said, "Let's do it." So I'm going to add them as well. Um, I don't know when that's going to be, but very shortly. So it's two new supplies for just admit, and I will do my normal. Run of teasers and shit. Brilliant. Good work, mate. And it's going to be something cool. Um, oh, right. 
Uh, I'll do. I'm going to do the um, giveaway. The giveaway. The giveaway. The giveaway. I need to find my fucking phone. Which is considering I lost it. Because I really, oh, there it is. Right. I will play five seconds. You want to tell us what the what the uh, answer is in the side chat so we can watch chat. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, yeah. If I spell it right, I don't know. First person to say the right answer. Yeah. Yeah, first person to type the right answer if you know if you understand what that means. I don't know if I spelled that right. But that'll yeah, be. yeah, fine, fine. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to play uh, about five seconds of a song, and uh, the first person to type it into chat wins. And the the you win by telling me what film it's from, not what song it is yes so we're playing for what film is this song full title full title spelt correctly in chat uh, i think we'll probably get it okay we're gonna go i'm gonna time it as five seconds hey, i saw her first and the new that her dark hair would we that is the first that is that is, that's all you're gonna get from that um uh yeah and you can win if you can name that song you can no if you can name that it eh, walk the line is that, that how's that cash. johnny how's that johnny cash fucking hell if you don't i i think i've got a pretty good it's the film we want not the song or the artist it's the film we want yeah 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 no 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 no, <laughs> no. I thought it was. It's a tough. It's a toughie. Deep it's a bit, maybe it's a bit tough. I don't know. We'll see. We we'll give it a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! It's gone already. Where? It, oh, Chris, yeah. Chris JB. 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 Chris, send me a um, brr, uh, message. Yeah, the song was from In Bruges, uh, and it's uh, Craig Kelly uh, singing Raglan Road, and it's, yeah, it's gone. Excellent. Oh, Chris gets what the win. That's great. People are still he's guessing. Very, <laughs> he's very, 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 very famous. Yeah, there's a bit of a lag, isn't there? So they won't know yet. But yeah, it's gone. Uh, that was Craig Kelly in Raglan Road from the film In Bruges. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's wicked. Is that the is that um is that the film with Brad Pitt? No, it's got What's the Bruges? Colin, Colin what, Duda. What am I thinking? Colin Duda and Brendan where... Watson. it. It's... What's the one with Brad Pitt in a foreign capital city? Snatch. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we could, uh, anybody, if you haven't seen it, Bruce, go watch it. One of the funniest films. It's fucking brilliant. Excellent cast. There's only like uh, four people in it, really. I mean, knock it out of the park. <clears throat> um, well, but. You can pretend that you're cool to your friends. If you're a if you're a bit of a folky kind of sad bastard like me, <clears throat> Craig Kelly's the, the uh, sang of the Dubliners quite a lot. But uh, that that piece of music is at at the climax of the movie, and it, it fits so perfectly. It's ridiculous. I'd probably fall asleep by then. <laughs> uh, Oh, we're going to go quick flashback to Expo. I was just going to say there was one thing uh, that's come up this week quite a lot. <clears throat> please, 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 please. If you didn't go to Expo, no one, no one gives a fuck about your opinion on it. You, you can't type or tell everyone your opinion on an event you weren't at. It is ludicrous. Shut the fuck up. It's attention-seeking bollocks drama, isn't it? So it's bollocks. Uh, there has been a couple of complaints which we, we don't we generally don't talk about because they are just the things that they they they, they happen. Uh, the music's loud. No shit, it's loud at nearly every vaping event. The only one that's not is Shrewsby, but it can be if you were near the uh, riot squad, who are very pleasant people. Actually, if you go and talk to them, they're they're, they're really nice set of people. Um, <clears throat> but they were playing loud music over a PA uh, at the uh, vote fest. But fair enough, the volume is quite low. If you're in an exhibition hall and you're trying to get attention, they're going to be playing drum and bass and they're going to be playing that. 
doesn't bother me. Um, as a as a as a as a happily married bloke, I'm not really that bothered about girls walking around with their boobs out. And 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 some people go for that. Whatever, that's fine by me. No wind about it. Yeah, look at Richard hand in the air. Loves it. I I don't understand what you're surprised at. Number one, but number two, if you won't uh, work there, it is no a shame. Is a it is a shame. It's a shame that it, you need to do it. Is that what you mean? No, but nobody needs to do it. It's a shame that think that people think they need to do it. I, I agree, but if you don't, because you, I know, <laughs> I know you kind of quite joke it, but you just ignore it because it doesn't interest me. I've just got to go. Now nah, I'm all right. No, nah, I don't want that. I don't want it's, to back. It's, it's not. A, it's not a vaping thing. It's it's an all exhibitions in all of the Western society thing. Absolutely. Golf yeah, shows. If you want shows to, the same. Car shows the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, mar it's, marketing, isn't it? it's marketing in a crowded yeah. marketing place. It's, place. A, it's a shame, though, society-wise. That... It's a shame that that's what it takes for mongs to buy stuff. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that word. You know what I mean? <laughs> you corrected yourself so fast, it doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, that's all right then. Phew. Uh, yeah, but don't, but 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 to re to talk about those things when you weren't even there is ludicrous beyond words. I but I I am not. Uh, I didn't go for that. What didn't interest me? I, I just walk past people. I don't collect carrier bags because it's very difficult to find a bin. Um, so yeah, it didn't bother me. Oh, you see, it's, it's ludicrous that one reviewer will knock other reviewers who actually turned up and made an, an effort, saying that they didn't make an, an effort <laughs> and they didn't even make an effort to turn up. So. <laughs> I, I was gonna, I was gonna edge around that one, but yeah, but I'll agree. say it. I'll say it. You know, there were some reviewers there that turned up, met their fans, talked to people, Absolutely. and then there's reviewers that like to whinge that they didn't put enough effort in while they were there when they weren't even fucking there in the first. Total rubbish. And total rubbish because everybody, everybody I saw, uh, right, uh, all the people that are watching right this second, I'm sure we'll all say this. E literally everybody who comes up to, came up to me all day. Uh, the two things people want to talk about are the idea loan show and just said Nick and, and it always stop and talk. And everybody did. Everybody who are who, people who are, who are our friends who are also in the same community or do similar things or they're on YouTube. Everybody stops and talks. That's why we're there. That's literally why we go not to get shit just to just to chat to the people who, who thank you for spending your spare time watching us doing this and for watching all, all of our um, uh, mates and stuff doing their their thing as well because that's what this is the point of going to these events is we go for you absolutely I, all we do is spend time talking to people so how anyone can criticize someone anyone. for yeah. not talking to enough people when they're doing it all day is yeah perfect anyway that was Expo. We'll go back to Expo in a little while, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brr, 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 um, Richard yes, and that's me. Not you. <laughs> oh shit! What? Uh, <laughs> Richard, who runs the IBVTA, that's not me. And no, it's not you. And uh, and and our Gary, who, who works for the IBVTA, Hall of um, Famer, a <laughs> Hall of Famer as well. Uh, I bet that rich is good. <laughs> they've invited me. <laughs> they've invited me. I don't know whether it's Paul Hardy or not. Um, to go to a meeting in London um, to talk about vaping policies in the UK uh, on the 16th of November, which is a show day. But I'll be back because uh, it's at 11 o'clock and it finishes at 5. So if I stay so far, I've got to get back across from Westminster back to here, and I'll be here, and I'll tell you all about it. What happened? I was gonna, I was thinking about suiting and booting it, but I decided just to john it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna go as I always do. Yeah, I wore suits for twenty years, not doing it anymore. Uh, so that's coming up. That's with the Irish Vaping Association and uh, I, the IBVTA. And um, IRA. social study, no, and a social studies. The IRA um, not going. <laughs> no, no. Is it, if it's where, if it's London around there, is it going to be a wizard on stilts? Might be. I haven't checked. I haven't checked. At least you could be that wizard, John. Oh yeah. 
if you really want to be taken seriously. You could, mm. yeah, don't, you could be the Gan, you could be a Gandalf. That's a good wizard. I was told by a very wise man to give my invite to Big J because he ain't up to much. Yeah, he, he could be, he could be, he could represent the clouds, oh. though, clouds gang, couldn't he? Yeah, he's pissed off because of that whole um, pound coin thing, you know, we got new ones. Because he'd been collecting them from uh, Tesco's um, trolleys, but he didn't get them in in time. So. Oh, man. Well, are they still working the trolleys? If he, That's it. If he wants to get a lot of I think there are a few places that will still take him, so he might be in luck. Yeah, well, last time I saw him, he bought uh, Dremel, and he was just making um, like tokens out of the old pound coins with yeah. Big J on them. And he was selling them for a quid. So it's quite clever. Yeah, so, yeah. So Recycling, he's, he's not, green. He's, he's green now, Big J, isn't he? He's green. Bring him back. That's what I say. Last time I saw uh, it, it was in stilettos. That's true, but it's Friday. Just it? throw that out there. Mm. Um, somebody made this point on um, our Facebook page today, and I thought I thought it, I thought it got legs, so I thought I'll talk about it. <clears throat> um, yeah, so somebody posted... Uh, about what they thought was a vape phenomenon, um, which is people getting impatient with uh, things coming from vape companies. Uh, being somebody who runs one, and Rick runs one as well, um, obviously modmaker.co.uk, uh, when, uh, yeah, it was a question about, are people getting more impatient now that, uh you know you could order stuff uh, and, it, and, and it gets sent out and uh, if it doesn't arrive in in 20 minutes they moan about it um and so anyway i'm going to read out the note i wrote in the run sheet which is are people getting impatient with deliveries from vape companies should we expect faster deliveries or are some people just dicks ah uh, that was what i went with <laughs> you can um, say i'm not gonna no, because I wasn't talking about vaping. Because I'm going to go back to the point that I put on the thread, which is that it's nothing to do with vaping. It's to do with we live in a complacent society. People want everything to be everything wants to be the way they imagined it. It doesn't matter what it is. People, I see people. Uh, I uh, I used to run shops, and I I, I purposefully never talk the way other people do to people who work in shops uh, when they check out people are really shitty or you know they've got like one grape is wrong so they end up shouting abuse at uh, somebody who works in tesco um or, or a million other things you can name or the amount of times i walk in the road on a daily basis because other people don't move and they think it's fine to take up the pavements but yeah, so I just walk in the road because fuck it, I don't really care. No, I don't think it's got anything to do with vaping. I don't think people are more complacent. I don't think people are. Um, I don't think it's got. It's not. It, it's not exclusive to vaping. Uh, people are. Some people are just cocks. Why about it? Yeah, it's not <laughs> exclusive to vaping at all, is it? No, nah, um, society's got complacent. Ninety-nine percent of the people that I send stuff to are fantastic. I think. I think you'd go further as well. It's like ninety-nine point nine nine. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, there's, there might be one in a thousand people that moan that he yeah. didn't get there the next day when yeah, I don't know from that. You know, even then, I try, oh, and the other thing is, well, no, I, no, I wouldn't say that. Bit. But yeah, I yeah, so I'm going to dismiss it and say, nah, it's not vapors, aren't bad people, it's just people. But oh, brilliant, I think you can't beat them as you know the community and customers. I, I, I wouldn't want better. I couldn't want better customers. No. Yeah, me. Uh, 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 yeah, that's quite a good one. Actually, uh, Jib Jeb in chat has said something which is totally true. Never treat anyone how you wouldn't expect to be treated yourself. That'll work. Do that. Richard! There you go. Mm. Okay, I've got one that I think we need. To... It's... Right, it's a new bit of news. Drib Ish. dribbles into an old bit of news, but I think we should, I think we should discuss it. I think we should actually yeah. roundtable this. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let me share it. Should put the picture up, Rick, if you can, please. Uh, so there is an unofficial dot mod recall 
on the 300 watt box mods. Um, this image, this graphic, wasn't created by Dot Mod. Right. Um, it's of course, it wasn't pertaining to uh, the 300 watt uh, mod that Dot Mod have. Um, it comes with a built in lipo, and it sounds as though the lipos were um, part of story. They were they were the batteries were held in the mods during transport in storage for the works, and so there is the chance that. When a person receives the dot mod, th dot mod 300 watt mod through the post, that the battery has slowly depleted below the safe levels for <clears> a lipo. Yeah. Um, when a lipo gets to a certain level of lowness, it needs very, very special charging procedures yeah. to recover it. If it can <laughs> I be say, there was a lot. It was quite prominent, wasn't it? There was um, a lot of it. Yeah. So this was, I believe, this was actually a Canadian vape shop that made this graphic. Uh, they had several returned to them, and they approached Dot Mod about it. And Dot Mod simply said, "Anyone who has an issue with their 300 watt mod, contact us, customer right. service at dotmod.com." So uh, it's not an official recall. They don't want them back if they're fine, but they are happy to listen to any customer about the mod if the person's not happy or worried or whatever. So it does throw back. So obviously, you know, as a safety message, if you've got a 300 watt mod and it's working fine and you're happy to continue with it, then fine. If you feel like it has got too low or something, you know, use that email address and, you know, get in touch or whatever. Can I ask a couple of questions just for a minute? Because I've never seen, uh, I've never seen one. Is that all right? I just a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, one question is the lipo easily accessible uh, you do have to screw no. screw the panels no it's, it's like an iPhone. it's like an iphone it's like almost a complete so, so you couldn't yeah. tell if it was at, if it expanded is what i'm saying you couldn't no not not uh, not by looking at the uh, outside of the mod no. uh, question number 2 if you plug the charger in um, would it uh, say what uh, what level the battery was at no well, yes and no. That's, the problem, you know, then. that's that's where the problem occurs. If you attempt to charge a ba a lipo in the traditional manner when it was too when it is too low for that charging. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally get that. But how would you know? If well, if your mod was if your if your dot mod three hundred watt mod for this example in question uh, was so low that the screen wouldn't turn on. Right. Okay. No, that that's a fair answer. That, that's all I meant. I just didn't. If you weren't tech savvy, I just couldn't work out how the fuck. But, you know. but even if it, when you turned it on, it said like excruciatingly low, like ten percent, or I don't know what the graphic says on the screen. But if mm. even if it was like you know zero of the bar or whatever, it's not great. It does, it does throw into question this thing that came up when DNA two hundreds first came out about using lipos in general. Um, I agree. Austin's made a point in chat, and, and it really reminds me of something that somebody said. Uh, I overheard this in the post office. Uh, one of the ladies in the post works. Uh, <clears throat> they're all fantastic. Uh, they're not watching, but if you, they're, they're, they're like my local post office. They're all brilliant. But she made a very similar point to Austin. <clears throat> well, I'm going to use it as an, 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 an analogy. Austin just said there, Wismet the RX300 was fine. It's, it, it's just a lipo issue. Uh, oh right, I think I've got the wrong end of the stick. Don't worry about what I was going to say, unless it, it was... is and it is and it it draws attention to why these people are trying to build mods that are too big. Who's going to use three hundred watts? Nobody. You don't need a lipo. Stick two eighteen six fifties in there, and then they can put them in, and there's not a problem with it. Okay, a few people have said a few things in chat that are correct. Um, there there is some additional detail to this. Um, there is a design flaw in the dot mod board that means that the continuing discharge of it when not in use is higher than a typical it. yeah it's higher than a typical lipo mod uh, i think a typical lipo mod is something like one thousandth of, of a percent you know i mean all boards all boards, thing, so. all boards but this one constantly power. draws power they all, the, all boards do draw power when they're off though unless it has a the manual board. off uh, I, it does yeah. stand. Sorry, I, I sorry to get backtracked, but the point my point that I was going to make does stand. Um, I, I, I will say I had to just backtrack through chat because I thought I'd missed something, but I did take it as as written. 
<clears throat> people often make it make make things like saying oh it's it's not this it's this it's not this it's that it doesn't actually make any difference if you've got that problem send it back because the person whose problem it definitely isn't is yours and and this was the point of the post office thing when I was in the post office the la there was a lady in there and she said something had gone missing in the post and she said oh it does get busy in the sorting office and I said and I, I she was serving somebody else and I said Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you, you've misunderstood something, though. And she said, what's that? And I said, it's not our job on this side of the glass to give a shit. It's not. It really isn't. You don't have to give a shit. You're the consumer. It, it, if you send something, I don't give a fuck if they're quite busy at, at the sorting office. No interest. You can't steal it or lose it because they're quite busy. And she said, and it gets really busy over Christmas. And I said... Because she said, oh, what about Christmas? I said, same time every year, isn't it? It's not a surprise. No one goes, oh, shit, it's Christmas. We all know it's fucking Christmas. And that the, the, the point I was trying to make was that um, when people are answering these questions or saying, oh, it's this or it's that, fuck what it is. Get it back. Get your money back. Fuck it off. Point. Well, in fact, they've been good enough. They're being good and they're saying send it back. Well, they're not. They they're didn't not. write that. They're not making an official announcement on it as such. But they probably, are because, because probably happen. this guy in Canada has got a load of these mods. They haven't sold for a year. They've been sitting on the shelf, and now they're a bit depleted. But any other retailer will probably knock them out that, in well enough is, time that, to get rid of them. If that's what it is, that's, that's, then he's a prick. If no, it, no, if no, 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 no. It's got the board has literally got a design flaw. Right, okay. And, and yeah, the way, the way it's assembled shipped is again flawed in its design get them sent back if well if you've got yeah i mean it's not great but it does throw into question this thing about lipos I, I feel like we shouldn't i don't think lipo mods where you can't access the lipo should exist really no you've got to be able to see it this I've is more, never, more your never, field, Rick, isn't it? To be honest, I've never seen... I mean, I like a cloudy vape. You know I do. And I'll vape up to maybe 100 watts sometimes. But I've always been of the ilk that lipos don't stack up against 18650s, size-wise or anything. Um, a pair of 18650s is more than enough to give anybody what as much power as they could comfortably vape at. So why are, you, are people making these lipo mods, really? They're just trying to get them smaller, I suppose. Um, let's ditch the lipos, really, I think. I, yeah, I, think I, think, I think it's a definite option to just ditch lipos, to be honest. You definitely should be able to access. I, I think uh, if, if we know what a blown lipo looks like, and uh, I think you need to be able to access it to, to look at it to see if it has expanded it's expanded you need to fuck it off and how could you know that that's, that's yeah but the the punter in the in the vape shop walking in and wanting a cloudy vape buying a 300 watt box isn't going to know a single thing about mods or how to change your lipo no. true true okay yeah you're right it's got to be idiot proof and it isn't so fuck it off Mod modders use lipo modders yeah. use lipos because we know how to treat them we know how to I'm use them. If, if that's if that's the if, if that's the, if you're right it's it, it's if you're selling it in a shop it's got to be idiot proof and it ain't so fuck lipos it. aren't no they're not they're not yeah. so i'm not really digging out dot mod it's i just i in general think we maybe maybe it's a good time to actually look at the lipo thing yeah especially when you've got things like the rx gen 3 ah. which is tiny and fits three 18650s I'd yeah, there's no way you could vape. There's no way anybody would comfortably vape all day long a three battery mod in series comfortably. It's just not. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So there we go. So yeah. that's that. Uh, cool. Let's, <laughs> should we slide on to Expo? Yeah, let's go on to Expo. I think that's a good idea. Rick, how, was, how was your Expo? Did you have a good time? What did you do? I enjoyed it. I thought. I thought the show was the. It's the biggest one ever, biggest one ever. It was huge. Um, as a, as an event for walking around and seeing things, it hasn't been beaten. It's got to be the best one. There were things that could have been better, but they know that there's the modders gallery could have been a lot better. Um, they is a bit all last minute really, but hopefully they're going to get that sorted for the next one. Um, 
less people, less, it was less sociable for me, this event, because you guys didn't stay all weekend and, um, and there's a lot of, there's a few bars in there now as well. So it's not like there's a central bar where no. everybody can go I'm to. I'm sorry. We, because we left, a, I know uh, uh, there was a couple of people I didn't get, didn't get to meet. Uh, Colin, I didn't get to meet. Um, he was there on a Sunday. Uh, both Rich and I had got family stuff to, to do, and um, so we kind of charged up there on the Friday, did did the thing, and then and, and stayed as long as we could on Saturday. So I do anybody pops up on Saturday and and and, and missed us, I do I do apologise because we just sometimes life gets in the way, and it and that that weekend I'd got something that I, I had to get done. So I had to get back. I, I thought the event was great, though. I mean, it was really good to meet Mike Vapes and Tony B. They're lovely fellas. <laughs> um, and obviously, knock about with Todd and Dean and every everybody that came. There were there were a few homies that went. Uh, I can't go through the names. Quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's good to see all them, but it was less less people there from the social side. But then it's it's the second expo. It's not it like the, the second first expo. one of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, but I thought it was a great event. There's a lot. There's a lot in there. Hell of a lot in there. Um, I just could literally get lost in there. I, I was getting lost. I did. I did get lost a few times in there. You turn. You turn around and you lose your bearings, and it's just you. And it's too. There were two igloos in there. That was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to do a quick, a special shout out to um, Toby from Nata uh, Liquids. Oh yeah. Uh, Toby uh, from Nata, who was over from Canada for the first time in the UK, and um, it, he's a he is an absolute delight and really really funny bloke. And we went out for dinner with him on Saturday night, and then Amanda from Gaslight right, in the US uh, paid for dinner, even though she wasn't there. She paid for dinner via Toby. So I just really want to say thank you to Amanda, and it was wicked to meet Toby. Oh, um, I didn't realise that. I, I thought Toby paid. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, it was Amanda. I think that that's the what I that's what I hear. That I said thank you to Toby, and Toby said, "Don't thank me, thank Amanda from Gaslight." So thank you, Amanda from Gaslight Vapor. Yeah, thank you so much, Annie. Yeah, it was great to meet Toby. Yeah, lovely fella. It's great. And we uh, actually, I'm going to split into something the same that involves Expo. Uh, all the VT UK uh, crew uh, were there. Um, uh, Chris tried to kill me with some chili es- extract. Mark Dolan is so tall, it's nearly a disability. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, obviously, Chandler was there and, and Stuart was there. Um, and there's always been there's been a funny thing. Since the start of uh, this show, uh, the, there's zero competitiveness with them. We've always just got on with them at every single event. And it's always absolutely fantastic to see them. It, it, it is. And... Uh, they're great blokes, and we sp- and we spent Saturday night with a lot of them. Friday oh, though, night. Friday night. Sorry, Friday night. though, Chris with his chili extract, he had a business card. He ripped up and he touched it with his chili extract and gave it to me. And so, try it blew my head off. It's ridiculous. And then he did the same to I can't remember who was next to me. Did the same to them, but then Chris touched his eye. <laughs> and Chris has got a burn on his eye that he's had since last Friday. That'll learn you, won't it? Uh, oh, but the point and I was going to say... Also, just on Chris, the Pandora V2 looks great. Yes, oh, and I've, I tried it. I tried it. I expo, and it is great. It's good, really good. I was going to say, just rolling into that, Chris B, who won the... Um, who, who won the In Bruges, who just won the uh, Nano, he's actually asked that he doesn't get sent to him, but it gets added to the VT, um, the VT UK cancer research raffle. Okay. He has said there's a cancer raffle on the uh, Vape Talk UK. Rather than have it, can you send it to the winner of that? Yep, no problem. Thank you very much, Chris. That's really cool. That was why I thought I'd roll it all into one. Uh, Chris tried to actually ruin me on the Saturday. You guys weren't there, but he... Uh... He had a bottle of Maker's Choice outside the hotel, and he gave me a pint of it. Fuck. <laughs> With Coke. No, it had some Coke in it. So, uh, but no, he was having a good time. He was having a good, I think he had a good few nights on the lash out, Chris. Yeah, he's a youngin, though, isn't he? How old is Chris? He's younger than me. Yeah, he, he got kicked off his flight on the Thursday. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're having slightly, slightly too much fun. 
<laughs> so I think it's he flew down at like crazy days. o'clock in Friday morning. It's great Where's to see going? to UK. Like, I, I, didn't, was with Chris Lewis. I didn't get to see, you know what, this is the first event I haven't got to see Big Tom at. Oh, I, I gave Big Tom a hug. The only time I went managed to get along to his stall, I, I said, where's that lazy bastard Tom? And uh, the girl said, he's gone to have a massive shit. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so I didn't get to see Tommy this year, uh, this event. Uh, so. So, yeah, but, but uh, okay, I'm going to just reiterate what I said earlier. <clears throat> we go because you go. And um, everybody who came up was absolutely fantastic. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Simon, who covered his mod with iOS stickers. Oh, yeah, I saw I met him, yeah. Um, Simon told me, he, Simon broke his back. What well, was damaged his back, and he had an operation on his back, and he had to spend four months in bed. And in those four months in bed, he watched the back catalogue of iOS from the start. I don't know if that's a punishment or not. Torture. <laughs> watching it. And I went, fucking hell, that's... That's something. Does it work? And he went, yeah, it's really funny. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, I really enjoyed it. He said, my wife didn't. She walked in and went, oh, you're not watching them fucking blokes again. Are you? And that made me laugh a lot. It's really, yeah, it was just it. But always there was uh, Chloe and her other half who came over from um, the Isle of Wight. I'm not going to start naming people. Everybody came up and said, hi, you make it what it is. There 20, were quite 25,000. Yeah. 25,000 in through the gate over the whole weekend. Fuck. Yeah, it was a good event, I think. Um, looking forward to the next one. I do think definitely, though, next one we need to sort of arrange in advance where it's going to be the sociable yeah. place for owners. I'm, I'm, I'm not in Birmingham because they expo. I'm going to Stuttgart. Me. I'm going to Stuttgart. Where, yeah. um, just had Nicker going to Stuttgart. For the weekend, I, I think we're going to exhibit in Stuttgart uh, over the weekend. It's our first time doing anything like that, uh, but it sounds like a laugh. And Mark's going. Uh, Marcus, um, a very nice German guy who watches the show. I'm going to be in contact with you very shortly. He's, uh, I'm sure he'll be there. Um, and uh, yeah, but I, I can't do Expo in Birmingham. I'll be at Jam. I'll be at. Uh, I'll be, call, I'll be calling the raffle at Fest and I'll probably be at Expo The Return if they do it again. But no, I'm going to Stuttgart. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. oh. I'll do it. But there's jam before that. Yeah, exactly. I'll be at jam. And we don't need to sort out where we're drinking there. No. We know what we're drinking. If you know, you know. Drinking. If you know, you know. Yeah. Uh, what else? How can oh, it what, improve then? How can it improve Expo? Modders uh, Gallery. Modders Gallery. Modders Gallery. Hopefully, I, I spoke to the organisers, and I, I might be. It's not decided completely yet, but I might. I may be getting involved in helping organise that next event. Um, definitely would be better if that was a more sociable area. That's certainly where we'd all congregate. Hey, the people that watch right. the show and stuff. So I'm going to try it if I am involved. Try and push. For there to be some decent seating, for it to be next to the bar. Um, I'm, all your bar. People, by the way. I'm just looking in chat and I'm nicking. Bradley's coming to Stuttgart. Schwartz is coming to Stuttgart. Mark's coming to Stuttgart. Andy Fairchild, he's coming. <laughs> I'd just nick them all. Oh, that's going to mess up me helping with the modders gallery if all the modders are going over there. <laughs> no, uh, but I agree. I agree, actually. I, I thought it should have been rammed in there, in the mod makers gallery. It was, it was obviously great to see uh, uh, the UK and our adopted UK people. Oh, right, sorry. I just said in chat. Uh, Mart in chat just put, I'm Chloe's dad, not partner. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yes, I met, I met them. I met them. I'm so sorry. Lovely, lovely people. They're really, really nice. Good people. Um, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I talked to them about the Isle of Wight. I said you've got two brilliant things, chairlift, sand in a tube. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Isle of Wight? Um, uh, what, what, what could improve about Expo? Uh, I don't know. I think move the food away from the, the music would be a good idea. I wonder if they could do a quiet, a proper, an actual a quiet, quiet bit. It's officially area. quiet. Yeah, 
I think you can move the really, and the quiet over there. I don't really understand the every stall having its own music thing, if I'm honest. Can't we have like a music system throughout the entire event? So one song I don't understand playing. it, but I don't, I don't care enough to worry about it. I, I agree with you there. Quiet area would have been good. I just well, there to... was there was uh, the modest gallery area was was quieter, wasn't yeah, it? Was quite, yeah. um, they, were, they were quiet. They were quiet bits, but they weren't. It wasn't known, and so, uh, quiet bits suddenly got loud <laughs> at random. Yeah, uh, uh, Brad just said it in chat, and I heard he said it on VT UK the other day as well. One source of music would be very good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's a must be possible. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I assume so. I don't think they can do a massive amount to make it better. I mean, you can knock it all it is, but it is a. At the end of the day, it's a load of vendors selling stuff. I don't. It's not yeah, there I to entertain you as such, is it? No, it's no, not no. I don't think we're, and I don't think we're knocking it. I think it's that. Oh, we're not it's... knocking it. We're nitpicking. Yeah, nitpicking because that's what we were just trying to say. What it's so good? It's such a brilliant thing. The, the 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 fact that it gets that many vendors and that many people come in, in of itself shows what an amazing thing it is. It's so slickly run now as well. They never you never hear of any ticket issues anymore. No, anything like that. People like no queuing issues. It's so slick. The whole thing is so slick, and it's an incredible sh showpiece for you know UK vaping. <laughs> but it's. All the complaints if we, if we were to nitpick, been, that is one thing that's yeah, likely. Absolutely. Every single thing I've seen has been a, a, a something that's empty for me. I, I don't really care. Uh, not not to be funny, but the, the girls don't bother me. I, 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 I don't care either way. It doesn't interest me at all. Um, the music d d doesn't really bother me. Uh, somebody, you know, the freebie thing. They're like, oh, I hate it because everyone's after freebies. There's literally there's a stage area where they'll do giveaways and chuck outs and stuff i didn't stand anywhere near it at any point so it's, it's big it's enough to it. get away from it and not it's hear it or anything I mean, what are you bothered about just it's a great off. time to go around the stalls yeah to fucking but don't moan about it it's ridiculous it is a bit you know we it's not our cup of tea people losing them losing their shit over a free bottle of juice being slung out at them yeah, so yeah, but you can, but you can get away from that quite easily and go to the bar at the other end, and you wouldn't even know it was going on. That I didn't. I just walked past. It just take you ten minutes to walk that far. I mean, it, it probably takes twenty minutes to walk around the whole thing. It takes at least. It takes about. It takes forty-five minutes to find the store you're looking for. I found out that. <laughs> yeah, you just get lost. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, it's that's great. great. Yeah. Super duper. It, I, had a, I, had a, I had a really good time. Uh, I had a great time. Friday, I was kind of working, and but Saturday, it was just nice to just get on the sofas, get on the sofas in the bar next to the second igloo and just chill out. <laughs> and, and I saw a few people saying, I, I don't go because I don't have anyone to go with. Don't worry about that. Literally just rock up, grab a beer, and I sit down. I can't think what what uh, Walt... Chap from Birmingham, band of the show, Walt. I can't think of his name. I don't know. He turned up for the first. Uh, anyway, I was talking to him on uh, Saturday. Uh, he was gonna. He had tickets last year, I think, but he had a bit of a, a social anxiety thing and, and didn't want to come because he was on his own. And and this time he came out, and as soon as he joined the, the pack in the bar, just completely everything went away. You know. Yeah, it, it it's just, not even. It's it's not it's not. I mean, we say this before every. Mick, event. sorry, yeah, Schwartz has got it. Mick, Blizzard. Like Mick Blizzard. Sorry, I'm oh, about Mick Blizzard. I was going to say. Sorry, 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 sorry. My brain went off. Nick, yeah. I gave I gave uh, Mick a little little kit to take with him. Hey, uh, I like Mick. It's nice to meet me. nice to meet you, Mick. Yeah, hey, it's really uh, nice. We just, talked about ELO for a while. But literally, my Facebook is wide open. So if you are worried about being on your own, add me on Facebook, drop me a PM, tell you where we are. Yeah. Easy, easy. Exactly. And yeah, do that. And find another the other thing is if you know another Romy and you know they're there, send them a message and get them to, and get them to sort of walk you in if you want that. To be, to be honest, even if you are on your own and even if you're not, not comfortable doing that, it's still an amazing thing to see. Yeah, like uh, there's so many stalls now that it's just a great thing. To, it's I, I genuinely enjoyed looking around the stalls on Saturday morning. 
<laughs> John Malcolm said in chat, is that the collective term for vape celebrities? A pack. I think so. I think it's a clunge. Somebody yeah, it's said a clunge. It's, it's, it's vernacular. Clunge. Yeah. Clunge. I had a good time. Uh, I was slightly disappointed that I couldn't stay for the whole thing, but I did get a really good taste of it on Friday and Saturday. So. It's all good. You know, Everyone was good. I'm it not... sounded like all the vendors were happy as well. Sometimes you do get rumblings, but uh... yeah, it's just a quick, like because I knew Colin could only make it on Sunday. And I knew Colin was a little bit nervous, and I felt that was the one I felt really kind of guilty about. And I, um, uh, you know, you kind of, uh, I, we we wanted to be kind of gone by um, about twelve o'clock, and then uh, I was talking to Liam Phelps. Uh, a couple of days before and he said oh i'm gonna get there on i'll be there on saturday about lunchtime uh, uh, are you gonna be there oh, we'll, have a, we'll have a drink and i thought right <laughs> you had a shift when you're gonna leave and i was like meet liam then leave <laughs> meet blah blah oh, i'm here oh, fuck. okay so yeah so yeah i enjoyed so it it's good it's good. good um we're on so the, yeah we we should we should touch on this clash so the next expo is at the exact same time as the hall of vape which is in stuttgart mm -hmm. um should should general vaping public be worried about that yeah because the it is big isn't it the stuttgart thing it's a very very big event big show. Mm -hmm. uh, i don't think you have to worry about it i think there's enough to go around I, th I think if if we were still nitpicking, one thing I would say is it would be nice to see more European manufacturers there. Yeah, which you're not going to get. And it's <laughs> definitely not going to get now. No, you're definitely not. Also, also, if you look at the actual UK vaping calendar, Jam and Expo are really close. Yeah. And then there's a big gap till Fest. Yeah. And then there's a huge gap between the return and Jam. Yeah. I don't know if that could I quite like that. Oh, but don't I have to admit I there was a bit of me when I was <clears throat> me and Dacus were driving back in the car. And there was a bit of me there's always a bit I know Rick feels a bit the same way as well. When it gets to the end of the vape ex, the exhibition season, I there's a little bit of relief where I go, Oh fuck, I'm all right now. I'm all right, not till the end of the year. I like it a lot, but I I you do feel a bit uh, before I get there. Just wonder if a better time for the summer expo would be end of June. Yeah, June. Yeah, I agree. It's a massive hole in June, which could be filled up with something. Uh, what else was I there going we go. to say? Oh, I know what I was going to say. You know what it is next competition week. Time. You... Have we done the, no, we've done the competition time. We've done the competition. Do you know what the... it is next week? Oh, it's our birthday. It's our birthday next week. It's two years of the Ideal Home Show. Hey, so uh, uh, we'll try and get some guests and shit together, and uh, and and do a uh, an idea loan show birthday. Yeah, as we do two years of the idea loan show. Uh, next um, uh, week, that is the, yeah next Thursday. So I, I think are we are we done for the night? Oh, we got the whoa whoa, got loads. We've got a Twitter as well, haven't we? We've not got a Troll of the Week or anything. Troll, let's go. Troll, okay. Troll. Sorry. Let's go trolling. Okay. Um, I found this on a feed of the 40 funniest YouTube comments ever, which has <laughs> got to be good, on it? So I picked a random five and, uh, yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll whiz through them. Dizzy Gillespie's Amazing Cheeks. Um his entire face blows up like a balloon. Now that's jazz. It's true, isn't it? It's true. That is a thing, though, isn't it? That's a, I love that that's a 37, a 34 second clip with 11,000, 11 million views. <laughs> Mental. Uh, next one. <laughs> uh, Bees in the Trap. This is uh, Nicki Minaj track. Uh, but <laughs> this is. I, I, I believe this is Samuel L. Jackson, a spitting image of it. Oh, the hangout thing's right over the top of the comment. Can you zoom out a little bit? Oh, oh there we go. Uh, whoa, Nikki really cleaned herself up. Good for her. 
<laughs> I would say he does look a little bit better than Nicki Minaj looks. To be fair to him. Uh, next, I can't, this is a general YouTube observation. Uh, I know I'm in the indie part of YouTube when the suggestions bar is all in sepia. If you look, if you look on the right hand side, all the thumbnails <laughs> are all of a all of a similar ilk. Uh, next one. Next. It's just a great caption. It's just a great screenshot anyway, but I love the comment. This man looks like science. <laughs> <laughs> he does, though, doesn't he? He does look like science. Like, if he wasn't in science, like he, he just would never work in McDonald's. He just... <laughs> he, oh, he I, would... know, I know him from somewhere. He does lots of science videos. I like, I like him. You, you just, yeah, but you'd, you'd never buy some shoes from him in Clark's, would you? No, 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 no. He, uh, he, yeah, he hasn't been doing a, 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 an hour long discussion about a glass flask that I watched because I'm a surfer. I love the, I love the office as well. I love the, the classic sort of education led, yeah, professor's office thing. Like, which, how is he going to get a book? How is he going to, oh, I'll just grab that book that references this. No chance. Lovely stuff. Next. Uh, this is what reminded me of Babe that I mentioned earlier. Uh, <laughs> so there's that'll a there's big, br- yeah the, the brilliant line at the end of Babe that'll do big. Um, <laughs> I really should stop quoting this line in bed after sex. Very <laughs> 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 uh, oh. yeah, he probably should to be fair. Funny. Uh, so that's uh, that's some random comments from the tube. Is it that time? What time? It is. What time? Is that time? Ah. It's that time. It's the time of the week again. My shakers of the week. Right. What have I got to show you? I've got I've got two modders to show you. You might have heard of them before. Ooh. Yeah, they're, they're lesser known, but you may have heard of them. One of them makes a few mods here and there, and... uh. He's made a very nice one this this week that I've seen, and it's uh, Mike Dacus. Oh, isn't it the squonk? He's made this squonker, and I think it's pretty nice. I think we need to share it and um, discuss. That is pretty. It's, it's the very... bamboo stuff. It's really. Yeah, I love very... the dots on the bamboo. It's very Mike as well. Like, yeah. do you know when it's instantly recognisable? Yes, I do. And I wonder. I wonder how big it is. I don't know. Um, it's that big. Yeah, that's how big it is. <laughs> it's not actually that big. By the looks like of it. it. Should you buy the bottle? No. It's we'll about see. Right, that will be. I tell you what. That is actually a twenty-six six fifty. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, well, he's watching the show. I know he's watching the show. He messaged me about two minutes ago. But no, he made that, and I thought that's pretty special. I mean, that's. A, Lovely colour block. Uh, yeah, does ticks all the boxes, that does. You could knock out as many of them as you wanted and they'd all be snapped up instantly. He just takes his time making them. That's the thing. He really puts love into these mods, doesn't he? You, so. you can tell, can't you? Yeah, you can, yeah. So that's Mike Dacre's abstract mods. Beautiful as usual, Mike. Good stuff. Fantastic bamboo block as well. And, and what uh, I, the bamboo stuff that he does is absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah. I've um, got another one from a guy who has been a little bit quiet lately, but it's not because he hasn't been making mods. He just hasn't been posting them on the group a great deal. So he's, he's put a post up. Um, and I've got three mods to show you from uh, our friend over in Ireland, Aidan the name from Tippy Mods. And he's mm-hmm. made a, a couple of things. And this is the standard brilliant squonker that he makes. I've got one of these, luckily enough. Um, definitely looks like a Bonner block to me, I reckon. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but what was more interesting to me was another. Well, he's got another one here. Here's another one. Uh, this might be Markski's actually. I think Markski got this mod. Very nice. Uh, what was more interesting to me is he posted up another mod that was really quite interesting, and it's this one. Oh, Ooh. it's a regulated squonker, and I thought Ooh. it was quite quite beautiful, really. 
I would definitely use the. Oh, we got reverb. Bit of an echo. It's all right. I'll let Rick get to the end. Yeah, what do you reckon then? Do you like this DNA? Must be a DNA seventy five C. That was yeah. The great. One thing I would say with that is I would definitely use the Mod Maker Squonk refill kit with that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't, really like undo, that. I wouldn't be doing that. Undoing that cap every time I wanted to do the bottle. Yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. Now, it's good to see Aiden uh, posting up some pics of his work because he's tippy mods. He's makes some beautiful things. Him and Mike be between them, they're is yeah. Dacus is in, in chat. Is the yeah. regulated squonker thing going to take off? I don't know. I think some people prefer it, don't they? But um, I don't I'm, think I'm one of them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm in the, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I just well yeah but, but do we think I don't know are, are there people waiting to jump on squonking and just waiting for a regulated scene I don't know can you do a, a reload Rick or oh, whatever it takes yeah oh, no. the echo's gone you're okay it's tasty, tasty, tasty. Oh, okay oh, good well that's what showcase of the week I good work well, on the on the subject of mod showcase I will say uh, uh we spent a bit of the evening on Friday evening with uh, the very talented Chris Scott from Chris Scott Mods. Yeah, it's nice for and, Chris. Uh, Good to see Chris come over in the evening and on Friday. saw uh, two mods. One of them was a pipe, and one of them was a, a, a skonker. Oh, the pipe was a skonker, and um, the other was a, uh, a moffset. A switch uh, fit one, wasn't it? Yeah. Switch fit skonker. And honestly, um, who bought it? The bastard. Ryan had it, didn't he? Ryan Dorr. Got it. It, it. it was... There was a lot of, of very attractive mods that weekend. That Switch Fat mod was the, the best thing I saw all weekend. Chris has absolutely knocked it out of the park. You know when somebody... I, I, like, I like Chris's stuff. I've got a, a squad from Chris already. Um, and I've always liked all his stuff. But he has knocked it out of the park. When he, he does when come along with these, he does like to push the envelope a little bit and yeah, yeah. do these little innovations here and there, and it's, it's great, great to see. It's a cracking mod, and I'm not going to go. I, I'm not going to go into it too much, but when uh, Chris released this mod, I, uh, I I don't want to quote him because I don't know whether he's completely shored up on the whole thing, but they're f fucking fantastic prices um, for yeah. the, the whole lot, and when they come out. Yeah, you're gonna be blown away. They're, they're incredible, and it's it's nice. To, it like you say, he pushes the envelope, and it's nice to see that innovation. And and he made a all really of, good case for the switch fit as well. Yeah, yeah. All, all, of our, all of our um, I will say all the models that we kind of show off, and there are a lot of uh, ones who get repeat um, showings. And the reason they do is because they they do that thing. They go that bit more, and uh, and they try something different, and it fucking out. I, yeah, couldn't be proud of that. The little mod maker showcase, uh, the modders, they're amazing. Hey, where, hey where, Chris where can, in the chat. Where can people go, Rick, if they want to see more? Uh, if you go on to um, www.facebook.com. Is that the blue one? Yeah, it's got a blue a blue box with a white F in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It. It's quite a popular site. Mm. If you go on there and do a search for mod showcases, there's a little group there. I see all the beautiful wonders that these beautifully creative people all over the world are making with mod Has, has Chris stuff. popped up a picture of a clicker yet? Right. He hasn't put it on showcase. He doesn't. He don't really post on there much. Oh, but I'd, I'd like to take pride in uh, saying I. He asked. He was asking us for names in the pub on Friday for that mod, and I. It was me that said clicker. Oh, there you go. It's not very clicky though. Got a little click to the button. True. True that. It is clicky. It's clicky. It's clicky. I, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah, very, I think that's very, very clever. Very clever. Yeah, it's when, great. when people see the switch, when people see the button, they'll. Oh, you're gonna go mental. Yeah. It's fucking a. And it's a, and it's a, it's a squonker with an on-off switch, which yeah. is pretty much a first, really, because these mechanical ones don't really have them, except for the mechanical. Uh, Might make it look like a locking feature. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, really good. Good to see. Right, what do you reckon? Are we about there, are we, fellas? Yeah. Yes. Very quickly, a reminder about next week is the second birthday of the Ideal Home Show, and we're going to try and do something a bit different. Try and do something a bit different. 
So yeah, we might, we might be able to get in. that northern monkey back on. Yeah, no, 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 no. you never know. Yes. <laughs> yes. And a few other people, I think. I think we're just. Yeah, we're we're just it'll be good. It'll be a good one. There. Yeah, so we shall see you. See you next Thursday. Ah, oh, second birthday. Bye. See you next yep. Thursday. See you soon. Bye. Next Thursday.